Hey, the Green Party's wealth tax idea is just nuts. I mean, I'm surprised that the Prime Minister hasn't ruled out this idea immediately. I'll get to that in a minute. But first, how on earth did the Greens decide that someone earning $100,000 a year or someone sitting on a million dollar property is rich. To put that in context, the average wage in this country is $77,000. Not that far off $100,000, is it? And Auckland's median house price is $875,000. Not that far off a million dollars. So what the Greens consider rich is actually not rich at all. It's more like just managing to do marginally better than average. And it's nuts to start hiking up taxes on average middle New Zealanders at a time when the economy needs to be encouraged to rebuild, not stifled. And this is why I'm surprised that Jacinda Ardern hasn't just ruled it out immediately, because tax, especially tax that seems unfair, is a vote killer. This is gonna chase away voters. It's not gonna chase away Green Party voters though, is it? They're gonna love a policy that takes money away from rich baby boomers and gives it to students and beneficiaries. This is gonna chase away centrist Labour voters because it's gonna remind them how nutty the Greens can be and what a Labour Green coalition might well get up to if there's no New Zealand first in there to rein them in. And remember, that is the most likely combo for government right now. Labour plus the Greens and no one else. Winston par Winston's party's at 2%. They are not looking good for getting back into government. Labour clearly hasn't learned from the capital gains tax fiasco last election, has it? Just remember how that played out. As soon as the PM promised to CGT, her polls started falling. This time, it might not be her policy, but if it's coming from a party that she is most likely going to need, it's close enough for some voters. Now, unless she rules this out, there is the risk that this becomes capital gains tax 2.0.